First things first. This happened to me when I was about 10 years old. I've lived in Idaho for my entire life, and I've spent most of my life outside in the wilderness as a kid. My grandparents would take me camping, and my older brother and I would always hike up the trails whenever we got the chance, just so we can look at the beautiful view of the sunset. On one of those occasions, something terrifying happened. When we were up at a campsite, only known as Warm River, the river that never freezes over, my brother and I happened to be on one of our regular evening hikes, and there was this old tunnel bored through the side of the mountain at one part of the trail. Probably an old train tunnel, and we were walking through it when we heard something I'll never forget. After walking probably two-thirds of the way through the tunnel, I heard a terrible screech at the end where we entered through the tunnel. The screech wasn't like anything I've ever heard before. I've heard the screams of animals on a dark, windy night. I even think I've heard Bigfoot calls a few times, but I never heard the metallic, grinding screech I heard that day. The point is, whatever that sound was, it did not sound natural in any capacity. I probably jumped five feet in the air when I heard it, and my brother shouted a few choice curse words before shouting at me to quickly exit the other side of the tunnel. At this point, my brother decided that we should just continue walking and head back after whatever made that noise, hopefully cleared out of the tunnel. Unfortunately, we didn't have any firearms on us, so I was pretty upset. My brother reassured me that everything would be fine, and we made our way back without any incident. However, I didn't get any sleep that night. Whether it was the thing that screeched at us, or just part of my imagination, I heard things moving around the campsite that whole night, as well as faint whispers in the distance. I also heard sounds that would echo throughout the darkness outside our trailer. I decided that I'd wake my brother up a few times to check out what it was, but every time he woke up, he refused to get out of bed, telling me that it was probably just another camper staying up late and enjoying themselves. However, the rest of the trip was pretty normal. We packed up the following day, and my life continued as normal. I was disconcerted, but chalked what happened up as a harmless event that I must have been over-exaggerating in retrospect. A few weeks later, I went up to the Pine Basin, which is an old ski lodge my family rented each year for family reunions. Here I would mess around with my cousins, and our favorite activities being night games. We would play hide and seek in a game called Ghosts in the Graveyard and other games like that. On one instance, I was chosen to be the seeker for the hide and seek game. Because I was one of the younger cousins, I got a flashlight as an advantage. Normally, all my younger cousins would hide close to the lodge while the older cousins would hide in the nearby trees or at the base of a nearby mountain. As I was searching near the bottom of the mountain, I heard a familiar whistle up the mountain a bit. We would always use whistles as a hint to at our locations. It sounded like someone was hiding way up near a tree known as the underwater tree, and I bet you can guess why. So I began trekking up towards the whistle. As I climbed closer, I got an uneasy feeling in my stomach. I continued on warily, and I convinced myself that everything was going to be fine. Even though I love playing these games with my cousins, I really do hate walking alone in the night. But I figured whoever I would find would walk me back to the lodge and everything would be over soon anyway. As I neared the tree, I noticed that everything around me was deadly silent. This alerted me because something just felt very wrong. Because you could always hear the adults having fun in the back of the lodge. And I was anxious to hurry back, so I called out, I found you, Scott. I thought that was the whistle of my older cousin. Come back down with me, let's go. But I got no reply. But I wasn't planning on waiting around. As I began to walk down the path, I heard a voice call, You almost had me. So I ran back to investigate. 
I flashed my light around all the branches of the tree, and I saw a monstrosity that I knew was not my cousin. It looked like a poorly drawn stick figure, made into a human, with its emaciated figure and lifeless eyes. I remember its face looking like skin on its head was pulled from behind, and had torn and stretched features. As soon as I saw that creature, I screamed, dropped my flashlight, and ran back to the lodge as fast as I could. The entire time I ran, I was overcome by the overpowering smell, and the, I could hear the thing running after me. As I approached the camp, I saw a few people, my cousins to be exact, at the bottom of the mountain waiting for me. I was crying and shaking, and they took me inside. I told my dad what happened, but my cousins all said that they didn't see anything following me, and that I'm overreacting. The adults kept us inside for the rest of the night, and I kept hearing sounds drifting in from the mountains. I've never played night games after that happened. I've always been terrified that my cousins wouldn't listen to my warnings. Ever since that night, I've always felt uneasy up in those mountains. And I used to be really religious, and I figured it was some kind of demon or something trying to kill me. But those mountains, I'll tell you what, they've never felt the same after that incident. A few years ago, the game Until Dawn became super popular, and I like to watch playthroughs of it on YouTube. When the Wendigo first appeared in that game, I got chills down my spine. I instantly knew that was the exact same creature I saw those many years ago. And I did a ton of research on them. I figured someone must have gotten snowed in an old lodge and resorted to cannibalism. But that doesn't explain what happened at the Warm River. I still hear that screech from time to time, and it never occurred to me until watching Until Dawn that it might be the same thing. This thought scares the absolute shit out of me. And Reddit, I'm writing this story down because I heard this thing earlier tonight. And if you're reading this, wish me good luck. I'm gonna need it.